us again. And um, we, we, all we need to ask you to do for us right now is to pray for us. Pray for Nigeria, pray for Kwara State. Um, before I joined politics in 2018, I, used to, I, I was in the private sector. And I decided to, I was brought in to come and play politics. Today, by the grace of God, I'm devil governor of Kwara State. And um, one thing I experienced when I became devil governor, I used to read in the Bible, principality of power in high places. I didn't really understand the meaning. But today, I understand very well, and I can write 40 pages or 20 pages about principality of power in high places. So a lot of leaders come into power, and they have 20, 10, 5 to 10 agendas. At the end of the day, they can only do one. It's principality and power. That's why we need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray for us. There are a lot of leaders who are interested in doing things for Nigeria, but they will never allow us to get to power. And when they get to power, they know how to separate the good ones from the people in power so that the bad ones will take over and give them bad advices. And that's why the church needs to rise up now that we're going to election again next year. We have to pray for the will of God to be done. Not the will of any human being, but the will of God. And that's where we can move forward. So I'm asking Daddy and every member of this church to please pray for us. In those days when they tell us to pray for politicians, I never used to pray. I never used to curse them, but I never used to pray. I used to be very angry. But now that I'm in Devil's governor and I'm in politics right now, I understand very, very well why we must pray for our leaders. Principality of power in the Bible is for real in Christianity in, in the world. It's for real. It is true. That word is true. There's prosperity and power in high places. And believe me, we need to pray. So, Daddy, I welcome you once again to Choir State. And I know once you release that prayer into the air in Choir State, Choir shall be peaceful and shall be free. Thanks so much. God bless you all. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Our mother is here. Our mommy is here. Mommy Esther Kumui, a mother in a million. Praise the Lord. Our mothers carry us in their wombs, but our mommy carry us in her heart. Thank you, mommy. God bless you. Praise the Lord. This is our time we have been waiting for. We appreciate you, appreciate your coming, appreciate your desire that we pray for our state. Our state will be free from the oppression of principalities and powers in Jesus' name. Our ministers, headed by the chairman of Khan, we appreciate you all and appreciate the leadership of our chairman in Cannes, as well as PFN and all the various blocks. And we have come together as the body of Christ for this crusade that blessing will come upon every life, yeah. upon every family. Yeah. I can see you are excited already. A miracle is coming your way in Jesus' name. All our friends, participants, online, the Lord loves you. I love you too. We all love you. And today, the opening of this great crusade for supernatural deliverance, it has come. I said it has come. It will touch your life. It will transform your life. And today, the joy of heaven will come upon your soul in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for what you have planned to do in every life. Lord, I pray that today no one will miss this miracle in Jesus' name. Power, anointing. Function, manifestation, miracles of every kind upon every life today in Jesus' name. Let there be confirmation in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. 
God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as we begin, this supernatural deliverance crusade campaign, outreach, whatever we call it, divine touch will come upon your life. Give me a good quarter state. Amen. Tonight, as we begin, I'm looking at Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. You can sit down. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. And after this manner, therefore, pray ye, a Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Christ. The very Son of God taught us to pray like he prayed. Every time he prayed, he looked up and he said, Father, talking to God, God the Creator, God the Almighty, God the Ancient of this, God with whom all things are possible, God that will bless you tonight. And he would always say, Father, and so that we too will be successful and we will have the life and the victory, the dominion, the power, the triumph that he had. He said, if you want to have the same victory and the same triumph I have, pray like I pray. And so he said, our Father who art in heaven. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the unfailing source of supernatural deliverance. How can we have supernatural deliverance? How can you in particular have supernatural deliverance? We're going back to the source. The source, the origin, the originator, the very spring of supernatural deliverance. And it's no other one but God, the Father. That's why he says, a Father which art in heaven. In Ephesians chapter 1, reading from verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the source. The source of salvation. The source of healing. The source of miracle, the source of wonders, the source of everything good in the world, everything good in your life. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us. You are blessed already. Just by coming, just by having expectation, just knowing that there is a God in heaven with all power and with all might. There is a God in heaven that all things are possible with him. Just knowing that you are blessed. Who has blessed us, not who has blessed them. You see, there are people, they hear others receive miracles, others receive healing, others receive deliverance, others have the expectations of their lives, them, but now your name is included tonight. Yeah. As those who are going to have the manifestation of the miracle power of God, your name is there. My name is there. My name is there. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I'm talking to you, as I said, on the unfailing source of supernatural deliverance. I'm going to have one, two, three. And then the showers of the rain of blessings will begin to fall upon you. One, point number one, the power of the Heavenly Father. The power of the Heavenly Father is still there. At the time Jesus spoke, a father 
which art in heaven. Before the time Jesus came to the world, a father which art in heaven, after a thousand years and two thousand years that Christ has gone back to heaven, the father is still where he is, a father which art in heaven. Number one, the power of the heavenly father. Number two, the promise of his healing favor. The promise of his healing favor. The Lord has come to favor you today. I'm talking to somebody there. I said the Lord has come to favor you today. You may not know because you said, well, I never have favor from here, from there. I always miss teach tonight. Favor will come to you from heaven. Tonight, miracle will come to you from heaven. Tonight, the love of God beyond your expectation will come from heaven to you tonight in Jesus' name. Number two, the promise of his healing of favor. Number three, the privilege of a helpful fellowship. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. Look at number one here. Number one here is the power of the Heavenly Father. The question is, since God is inviting you, and he looks at you, and he says, tonight, I want to dry up all your tears. I want to solve all your problems. I want to take care of your life. I want to give you a new life, a new life beyond your wildest dream. I want to give you tonight. You say, thank you, Lord. But the one thing you want to know is how mighty, how powerful is the God that invites you. Because it's inviting you tonight. And every unsolvable problem in your life, tonight is your night of solution. And so, how mighty, how powerful is the God who invites you, the Heavenly Father, the power of the Heavenly Father. Look at this verse in Jeremiah chapter 32, reading from verse 27, Jeremiah Chapter 32, verse 27, it says, Behold, I am the Lord. Behold, I am the Lord. If you're always on the move, you will not stand, stay, wait enough to behold. There are many people, you're always on the move. They don't have time. They don't have time to behold the power of the Heavenly Father. But tonight he says, wait, hold on, don't be in a hurry, and behold the power of the Lord. That power will work in your life. Every mountain, it will roll away. If you have any challenge, you may run in here and there. You went up, you went down, you went far, and the solution did not come. Hold on. Wait. Behold. He says, I am. Not I was. I am. Not I will be. I am. The Lord, the God of all flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That flesh that has cancer, and the God of all flesh, the flesh that the devil had torn and tormented, is the God of all flesh, the flesh that's almost dying and already smelling. He is the God of all flesh. Life will come to that flesh. Power from heaven will come to that flesh. Then he asks the question, is there anything too hard for me i thought you will answer no. your situation is that too hard for god no. your hard life 
your suffering, your torments, your desires, everything you dream of for yourself, for your family, peace of mind, rest in your soul, happiness and joy, and then all the torments of the devil and all the things the devil has passed in your life, in your family, in your body, for God to remove. Is there anything too hard for God? He will do it tonight. Look at verse 17. Verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. Jeremiah, in answering the question that God asked, is there anything too hard for me? Then Jeremiah said, I look at all the stars, you make them all. I look at the sun, you make them all. I look at the moon, you make them all, and you hang them there, and they run in their orbits, and no one ever drops off. If you can keep the sun, the moon, the stars, and then the ocean, if you can keep that for thousands of years, and the land, and everything that is made, Lord, by your great power, you have stretched everything out, and there is nothing too hard for thee. In your life tonight, there is nothing too hard for him. In your family tonight, there is nothing too hard for him. You see, I don't like my character, my behavior, and I've been trying to change. I make resolutions, resolutions. I want to be a better boy, a better girl, a better man, a better woman, a better husband, a better wife, a better servant, a better civil servant, a better person all around. I've tried and tried. Tonight, God will do it. He said, there is nothing enough too hard for thee. Look at Psalm 62. Reading from verse 11. In Psalm 62, verse 11, it says, God has spoken once and twice. Have I heard this? That power belongeth unto God. Power belongeth unto God. The power that will turn your life around for the better, belongeth unto God. The power that will put joy in your heart, a smile on your mouth, power belongeth unto God. The power that will take you away from the dungeon of captivity and then put you to the mountain top of victory, of joy, or happiness, that power belongeth unto God. Will you taste it tonight? Yes. Will you know it tonight? Yes. Will you connect with that power tonight? Yes. Hey, look at this, look at this. We're looking at uh, Matthew chapter 19, uh, verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. I want you to begin to think now, with men, Remove that N, M E N, remove the N. With me, this is impossible. Think about the things you have found impossible in your life. Go here, I cannot. Climb up, I cannot. Run, I cannot. Stand, I cannot. Bench, ah, uh -uh. my back has a problem. I cannot eat good food. I cannot sleep. I cannot. You find man finds a lot of things impossible in his life. With me, this is impossible. Not only me, with men, other men, everybody around. This is impossible, but with God. With God. Say it aloud. With God. All 
things are possible. There is nothing that God has promised that he will do that he cannot do tonight. He will do it tonight. Begin to think about those impossible things in your life. You have tried. Men have tried. They found that impossible. But tonight, possibilities have come in your life. I said possibilities have come in your life. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. In Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Did I hear any amen? Yeah. That's why we're here tonight. To remind ourselves that God is the source of supernatural deliverance. I rejoice with you that tonight your supernatural blessing has come already. Yeah. Healing for you. Deliverance for you. Salvation for you. Impossibilities becoming possible in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I see a mother there looking at her son because that son had had a challenge that taking here and there and nothing could be done. Tonight, your solution has come. I see somebody looking at himself, at herself. Look at my predicament. Look at my problem. And I've gone here and there. And no solution. Congratulations, you are here tonight. You are there tonight. Your solution has now come. Look at point number two there. Point number two. We're looking at the promise of his healing favor. The promise of his healing favor favor tonight favor tonight nothing will stand between you and divine favor tonight in jesus name jeremiah chapter 3 33 verse 3 in jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me that's why at the end of the preaching, we say, don't go. Because the preaching only tells us the possibilities with God. When we wait, then we call unto him. And miracles will begin to shower down upon everyone. Yeah. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Will God answer you tonight? Seriously, ser truly. Will God answer you tonight? He will answer your prayer. That's what we said. He is God. He cannot lie. He has given us the promise of his favor. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, behold, I will bring health and cure. I will bring, he's bringing it from heaven. And he's bringing it for you. And you are going to have it tonight. The moment you will say, in Jesus' name we pray, that healing will come upon your right there. Behold, I bring it health. And kill. And I will kill them. Not only one person, them. How many of them? All of you. All of them. All of us. Coming to you today. I say, coming to you today. Behold, it says, I will kill them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. When salvation comes, the peace of God will come in your heart. Forgiveness will come. Condemnation will vanish away. And then you will go in the joy of the salvation of the Lord, 
because that is the favor God said he will show unto you. Look at Isaiah chapter 57. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 18. I have seen his ways and I will heal him. I, will, I have seen his ways. The Lord has seen you there. Yeah. Where are you? The Lord locates you where you are. Yeah. All those online, all those over the radio, over the television, the Lord has located you where you are. Yeah. And he says, I will heal him. And I will restore him also. I will lead him also. I will restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Restore comforts. Comfort coming to you. You know, in all these uh, global crusades, the Lord has been blessing people with the comfort they need in their personal lives, in their families, in their communities. There was this uh, young man in Cross River State. It's been, the condition had been a condition of sorrow in the family. Why? Because their son, Richard, Wochi, was having uh, insanity, real, real madness. And the parents could not do anything. But then uh, the crusade came, like your own has come today. And then uh, we prayed after prayer that insanity for 12 long years, everything. Uh, vanished away. <laughs> comfort came. I said comfort came. Deliverance came. Can I show you his picture? Look at this. I was afflicted with the spirit of madness. I was insane for 12 years. So I got my healing during the visit of Dr. Pastor W.F. Komoyi to Calabar. This is my son. What I passed through through him, I wouldn't want my enemy to pass through it. I suffer a lot on him. You can imagine a boy of this stage I don't enjoy him, rather suffer. I suffer on him. I mean suffer, and I wouldn't pray it for any mother. As you see him, he cannot sit for five minutes. That's how he'll be going round and round and round. And when I asked him, why can't you sit quiet? He said, that thing doesn't allow me to sit. He wants me to be going round and round like that. So while I was in the camp, I was praying after the message. He said we should lay hand on where we had the problem. I lay hand on my on my head. So I got back home. I slept. So when it was uh, 4 p.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, I was pressed. So I decided to go to the toilet. So when I came back, I shut the door and lie down. In no time, I felt something trying to lift me up. And I stood up. I checked where I was lying down. I couldn't see anything. I checked the shirt I was wearing, whether it was a rat that got in there. I couldn't see anything. So I lied down back. So when it was Sunday morning, I decided to take a few steps out to ease myself. I now saw a rat, a dead rat in a vision, fell to the ground. 
And since that time, I have gotten my healing. I have been okay. I am healed and perfectly well. Glory be to God. Somebody there, praise the Lord. Comfort. Comfort for you. Comfort for your children. And comfort for your families in Jesus' name. That power is here tonight. And to rule all your problems, roll everything away in Jesus' name. Look at Mark chapter 16. Reading there from verse 15, it says, And he said unto them, Go into all the world, like we're doing now, through this global crusade, to all the world, from here, the Alpha location, to all the major cities and villages everywhere in our country, Nigeria, and to all the countries and nations here in Africa and beyond Africa, everywhere. Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Look at verse 16. It says, He that believeth, that's you tonight. I say that's you tonight. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. I pray you will not be among the damned. I will not be among the damned. You'll be saved. I said you'll be saved. But 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. As we're going back home tonight, signs and wonders will follow you. And this sign shall follow them that believe. Miracles will follow your home. Healing will follow your home. Deliverance will follow you home. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18, they shall take off serpents, that, that means take them off and throw them away. And if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. What will happen? And the hand of the Lord will be on you tonight. What will happen? You will recover. The Lord will put testimony in your mouth. Yeah. And then we're told in verse 20. In verse 20 it says, And they went forth, and they preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. Everywhere they preached. The Lord walking in with them. Every time they preached. The Lord walking in with them. And the Lord is walking with us tonight. And confirming the word of signs following. Amen. Let's come to number three now. Number three, a privilege has come. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. As we come tonight, I want to link you up in fellowship with the Heavenly Father, in fellowship with Christ, in fellowship with true believers in Christ. The privilege we have of a helpful fellowship. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. It says, God is faithful. Tonight, God is faithful. As we pray tonight, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship, unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. When you come in fellowship with the Lord, great things happen. And tonight, as we come into fellowship with the Lord, great things will happen in your life. There are times 
when we as we came into the world we came with a particular challenge born with that challenge but as we come in fellowship with the mighty creator with the one who cannot fail and whose power is still at work until today those infirmities and those problems we were born with even those infirmities tonight they will vanish away yeah. in one of the crusades we had there was a boy a child that was born with the palate cleft closed and there was like a deep wound not just one like an opening and when the child opened the mouth it's like a big ditch inside they went to hospitals they went here and there but it was only when they were able to connect in fellowship with the lord during one of the crusades as we mentioned the name of jesus instantaneously that thing that the child was born with he got healed immediately our god is an awesome god and tonight i bring you into fellowship to such a mighty god before i go on let me show you that boy let me show you the family and see what happened to them and understand the same miracle power is here tonight. It rolled that problem away. My name is Chibudum Herbert. I really want to thank God for what God has done to my son, Goswi Chibudum. He was born with a big opening from the mouth, right from bath, where when he eats, he comes from the nose. And when he drinks, he comes from the nose. So and, oh, we have made a lot of effort by going to hospital for plastic surgeries, but uh, we couldn't get a good result. When we have a global crusade, we went to the global crusade. At the end of the global crusade, when WF prayed for those who were sick, and after the prayer, we came back home, and suddenly, uh, he went to the, my car beside the car and checked his mouth, and he saw that the, the opening has been closed. And uh, we, he shouted, we really glorified God for what he has done to his life, that he has no more fever, and uh, we are here to testify what God has done for us and for him in particular. Praise the Lord. For yourself tonight, praise the Lord. For your miracle tonight, praise the Lord. For your divine connection to the Almighty God, praise the Lord. Your own time has now come. My time has come. I'm looking for somebody there. My time has come. And tonight, God is faithful. Through Jesus Christ, you'll be connected with the Father. He will bring you into fellowship. The middle wall of partition, your sin, your condemnation, your guilt that separated you from God, the Lord will remove that tonight. You'll come into fellowship. He will say, you're my son, you're my daughter. I've forgiven you. And in that fellowship, miracles will begin to flow in your life. What we do is we turn away from our sins. We turn to the Lord. We say, Lord, I'm sorry for every bad thing I did in the past. But now, as I turn away from them, I ask forgiveness from you. And the Lord will forgive you. Who am I talking to there? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. And the peace of God will settle in your heart. A quarrel state, amen. 
Eds baus and eyes closed. Eds baus and eyes closed. This is your moment of being connected with the faithful God. And with the favor of the Lord, this is your time that you say, yes, Lord, I come. Yes, Lord, I give myself to you. Yes, Lord, I turn away from my sin and I turn unto you for forgiveness. Eyes bowed and eyes closed. If you're coming to the Lord right now and you want his forgiveness, you want the peace of mind, you want the pardon, you want him to erase all the sins you have committed before. So you can come into fellowship with him. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. God bless you there. Wonderful. Just tell the Lord there as you raise up your hand. Lord, I come into fellowship with you tonight. Lord, I come into fellowship with you tonight. Anywhere you are, on the right, on the left, in front of me, and far at the back, anywhere. And on radio, television, uh, social media, anywhere you are, I turn away from my sin. Uh, and I want to come into fellowship with the Almighty God. I need His forgiveness. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, please uh, stand up. Stand up. You are not ashamed of the forgiveness of the Lord. You are not ashamed of the salvation of the Lord. You are not ashamed of coming into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. Just uh, raise up your hand and stand up. While you are standing up, tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I come to you. Tell the Lord right there. I turn away from my sin. Tell the Lord right there. I need your favor. I need your forgiveness. Tell the Lord right there. I know you are a faithful God. You don't want me to perish. You want me to be saved. Forgive me, Lord, and grant me your grace to now continue to live in righteousness. I need your help. Help me, Lord. He cannot fail. It's a faithful God. Tell him, thank you. Tell him, thank you. I believe my sins are forgiven. Thank you. I believe my soul is saved. Thank you. I believe I'm now in fellowship with the Heavenly Father. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep on standing up. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all your creatures who have now become your children. They have turned away from their sin. They have repented of their sins. And they want your grace and favor and forgiveness and your strength. I pray do it for them now in Jesus' name. Forgive them. Give them your peace. Give them your salvation. And confirm the joy of salvation in their hearts right now. Lord, give them assurance they have now come into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. I said it is done. Our counselors are there and they'll spend a very short brief time with you. You want to take some details so that we can know that you have come into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. You've got forgiveness and you've got the salvation of the Lord. We we'll call on a state of us here to lead us before I come to pray for the supernatural healing deliverance of the people of God. A state of us here, please. They say, God of power. That power will come upon your life right now. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Your problems will be solved. Your sicknesses will vanish away. Impossibilities will become possible. You've seen those other people whose problems were solved just at the mention of the name of Jesus. And tonight, at the mention of the name of Jesus, you'll be healed. Don't think of other people, not just yourself. 
whatever the problem. You are blind, you are lame, you have tumor, you have any challenge. This is your moment of miracle. Yeah. After the final amen, you check up yourself, you find it is done. Yeah. Where are you? You need a miracle, deliverance, healing, power manifestation, provision, signs and wonders. Raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because we know you are a mighty God, a miracle working God, a God that cannot fail. And Lord, I send forth your power in the life of everyone right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, as you have promised us, as you have reminded us that you are the God of all flesh, and with you nothing shall be impossible. We pray there will be a manifestation of that power, even now in Jesus' name. Touch everyone now. Heal the sick right now. Those blind eyes, I command, be opened in Jesus' name. Insanity vanish away in Jesus' name. Paralysis, stroke, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. Any tumor, fibroid, growth, hunchback, elephantiasis, hernia, all that growth, I command, be removed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all those things working about in the body, you grant everyone total, complete, permanent deliverance at this very time in Jesus' name. Incurable diseases like cancer, tuberculosis, kidney problem, kidney failure, heart attack, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everywhere now, both here on the grounds and the Alpha location, over the radio, over the television, everywhere where people are alone in their families, in their houses, or in fellowships and congregations, everywhere, manifest your power in Jesus' name. Set the captives free. Deliver the oppressed. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Manifestation, demonstration of miracle power every, everywhere now in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle. Confirm your power. Confirm the healing. Confirm the deliverance. Everywhere a shout of testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Whatever you could not do before, your miracle is already there. Do it and you will see impossibilities has become possible. Nobody going away now. Stay where you are and let the power of God in your life be celebrated tonight in Jesus' name. Let our leaders bring them to the place where they can test, they will testify. While that is going on, check yourself because Power is there. The power is still there. Walking. Then you get your miracle while you listen to testimonies of other people. Let's get it. It's happening there again. It's happening there. Rejoice. Rejoice. It's happening there. Bring them out. I can see crutches in the air. 
raised up. While we are getting ready to take testimony of the, the Alpha location, we go online. are happening online we are indeed celebrating the supernatural deliverance that Christ has given us today and we'll bring you this testimony from the social media and this is coming from Olan Rewaju Esther Oluwashion she wrote for five months I've had this skin disease and then at the Last month global crusade, the Lord healed me and the five months skin disease has completely gone. And now I am sharing my testimony because the Lord has done it. And we have another one from Adekule or Debumi. He says, I'm totally healed from splitting headache and consistent fever. Tonight, they cleared up by the power of God. Praise the Lord. The head pains are still rolling away as we have this one from Mary Uwanwike who says that I am healed of a head pain. Not just that, the pain in my eyes is gone after the prayer of the man of God tonight. I am healed. We now take you to South South Nigeria, Benin City, where we have a testimony. Benin City, live. Oh. Praise the Lord. I thank God for what God did in my life during the uh, last uh, complete Dominion Crusade at Bayasa. I am Brother Francis Nguli from Church District, a Kawa group, a Dodo State. By the grace of God, I'm born again. again. What, what happened, happened was that. January, February, February, I was, I was having, having serious, serious pain, pain all over my, my body. body. And, and I could, I could not, not even walk. walk. Right, right from the church, church here to Bethel, Bethel. I, I couldn't, couldn't walk. walk. Then, then from, from there, there, I have to take care of my house. house. Not, not even up to, to four, uh, four posts. posts. I cannot, I cannot walk, walk that evening. evening. After, after the program, after the leadership meeting. Then through the crusade program, after, After Jesus prayed, prayed in fact, fact everything, when, when he said, lay your hands, hands upon, upon everywhere that, that you have pain, pain. Both, both my lips here, here my, my leg joints, joints I, can't I can't move. But, but after, after that prayer, prayer everything, everything disappeared. disappeared. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I can I walk, I can bend, I can, I can jump. And, and everything, everything God did, did it for, for me. me. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you see it, indeed, he is healed. And we'll bring you this also from the social media. A hikiat or Joel, who says, he shouted, Hallelujah, I've just been healed from eye pain. It's been disturbing me for a very long time. It affects me at school, affects me at work. But tonight, the pain in the eye is gone. And I am healed. We now return to the state of us here for live testimonies from the Alpha location. Let our leaders bring those who have testimony to this place. Let's rejoice. And let the orchestra give us music to rejoice for what God has, is doing and what he will see yet do. Leaders who are waiting for the testimony.
Let's hear their testimony. Let's listen to the first testifier. Let's listen to the first testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I am a medical practitioner for over 25 years. Now, this young boy, getting to six years now, has had a swelling at the back of this right ear. Medically, we call that lipoma. And this evening, before the man of God prayed, the swelling was there. But after prayer, the swelling disappeared. Amen. Yeah, the testimony. Praise our Lord. My name is Adebi. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Oluwakemi Victoria Adebi from Asa. Our district is Pasa. The boy standing beside me is my boy. The boy this fellow swelling at the age of maybe two, two weeks old or a month old. The swelling developed at the, at the uh, right ear for almost six years. But to God be the glory tonight, we couldn't see the swelling again. After the prayer of the man of God, swelling disappeared. Because we came here with that swelling. And to God be the glory, it has gone. Praise the Lord. Lampoma.